The whole justification for governmental public schooling was in order to provide a common framework so you could have citizens who could harmoniously exist together in a single, free, democratic society. The concept today has tended to go in the other direction. But the modern view became that, after all, an individual was an innocent puppet pushed one way or another by the social forces that impinged on him. That you couldn't blame an individual for anything. That wasn't his fault. It was society that was responsible. That the ultimate unit of our, soci of our society was a collectivity rather than the individual. That you had social responsibility, not individual responsibility. And this was associated with a view that there were experts, people who knew what was good for people better than they did for themselves. That after all, you couldn't let an individual decide what he was going to do because he might make the wrong choice. And it was up to those of us who were in the elite class, who knew more about what was right, who had the proper social point of view, not to dictate to the individual, of course, but to guide him in the right direction, to make sure that he did what was good for himself. And that tendency has manifested itself very strongly in our school systems. In the 19th century, the schools, even in crowded cities and in urban cities, might not have been uh, affluent. They might not have been, had the best facilities. But they had an atmosphere in which the individual was made responsible for his own development and own learning. And he was given an opportunity to learn and develop. And that was a concept. In the 20th century, the concept has been <coughs> that the schools are an expression of society's values and interests and should be imposed upon the child and the child should be made to do what's good for him and that the major problem in schooling was to get the child out of the hands of his ignorant, in a, ignorant and, and not very sophisticated parents and put the child in the hands of the sophisticated and knowledgeable educational experts who could guide him along the correct way. I, am, uh, I believe in a very diverse society. I believe it's highly desirable to preserve variety and diversity and different kinds of things. But it has to be a variety and a diversity within a uniform set of standards, a uniform set of, 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 of institutions, ideas.